Hello guys, it's Lee. I'm out in the shop this morning. It is the first part of January. A whole couple, but last week we had seven inches of snow. It did warm up uh, to thaw that out, and it, but it's still cold. And um, But today I wanna have a different video, more of a discussion video on gasoline. And, um, and I wanna get your guys' take on your thought on the 10% ethanol gasoline that we put in all of our vehicles and that's widely used um, in cars uh, versus the 100% gasoline that has no ethanol. Now I know the quick answer to the discussion is on small engines to put 100% gasoline in and don't do the ethanol because it will gum up your carburetor and, and things of that nature. Now remember, I'm not a mechanic, okay? But I have cleaned probably 100 carburetors. I fixed hundreds of mowers over the past five years. And, um, and I just kind of figure out how to do it. So I'm not a mechanic and I hadn't studied on that, but I will give you my experience on gasoline. And like I say in the comment section, go ahead and tell me your thoughts on it because everybody might have a different story but I'm gonna go ahead and give you my example of what's going on. Now I realize a couple of things about the ethanol gasoline uh, versus 100%. Uh, ethanol attracts water, um, moisture into your gas lines and your carburetor. And you know, if, it, if you let it sit for six months, maybe four months or whatever, it, that it could gum up your carburetor and, and have a hard start. If you like this kind of content, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. The other thing about the uh, ethanol gasoline, and I have I hadn't personally had done this, but I did enough research online um, that it's possible that if you're running 10% ethanol, that your engine runs a little bit hotter. I don't think it's enough to make a difference but it probably makes your engine run a little bit hotter is what I'm finding out versus the 100% that has no ethanol. Uh, it's just a cleaner burn. Now I know obviously there's a price difference in the 10% ethanol versus the 100% gasoline. And you know, you could subsidize with Seafoam and I can't name all the different uh, products, but I got some up here, but Seafoam is something I use a lot of and um, I can't think of the rest of them, but there's a whole counter in Walmart and AutoZone and all those places that sell these things to combat ethanol. So it's like, you know, and I'm fixing to go to the store and fill up before I'm even talking about this, but it's like, you know, you're probably playing, paying close to a dollar more for the, um, for the 100% gas. So, you know, which is better, you know, to do the ethanol and buy the um, additives to put in to combat it, or just pay the higher price for the 100% gas. All right, so I'm here at the gas pump, about a couple miles from my house, 2.99 a gallon for 87 octane. Can you see it? 299. And over here is where they do the non-ethanol, so we'll drive over there when we finish and see what that is. I'm filling up the truck too. This is what I got. I got two five gallon buckets, gas cans. Yeah, they're about 20 years old. But I got two five gallons that I always use. Been using them for 20 years. So we'll get the price on this other. All right, so it's three forty-nine. All right, so me and Millie's back. Got the gas unloaded. Hey, just a little side note. Did you notice that the diesel was three forty-nine and the 100% gas was 349. Is it always that way? It's probably not. It's just maybe that particular station was exactly the same price. I thought I was losing my mind and had to double check prices. 
But anyway, so the um, the gas, so the gas I bought, and I didn't really show that, is I bought the 10% ethanol at $2.99, and I put it in my gas cans and for these mowers. So I got a bunch of small engines. I probably got about 10 small engines around, and I bought the $2.99, 10% ethanol to put in all that, and I put it in my truck too. But I'm fixing to tell you why. And uh, like I say, this is where I'd like for you to comment and tell me your thoughts on it because I'm not a mechanic, maybe not that educated on all this, but I am going to tell you my 15 year experience. So, this little zero turn mower right behind me, I don't do much videoing on it because that's just a residential zero turn Husqvarna that I mow my grass with. And, you know, maybe I need to do a video on it. But I bought it brand new in either 2007 or 2008. So it's around 14, 15 years old. That whole entire time, because, you know, this 10% ethanol came in around that same time. It might have been around before then, but that's when I started noticing it. That has always had 10% ethanol in it. I've never put 100% gas in it. Never had to clean the carburetor after 15 years. Now, you know, I do regular maintenance. I, ch I changed the uh, fuel filter and all that, but I never had to clean the carburetor because it did, just didn't need, need it. And I've cleaned 100 carburetors before. So, but my, well, it's not a trick, but what I do is in these winter months, like, you know, actually this, probably this afternoon, I'll probably do it, is I'm gonna get it out and run it for probably 15 minutes. And then next, then about a month from now, I'll do the same thing. And then when grass, here, and after that, it's going to be grass mowing season again. But I'm not going to let it sit here all winter long and just sit there. Well, for a couple of reasons. I want the oil to get heated up and go through the engine. I want um, the gas to burn out of the carburetor so it don't gum up. And that's the, that's the key of what we're talking about. And plus, it keeps your battery charged, which I got battery tenders and all that. But that is exactly why... I don't worry about 100% gasoline. It's because of that one mower right there. Um, never had any issues, fuel issues with it. Yeah, I replaced a fuel pump before. I think it was on this one, I can't remember. But you know, I've done stuff to it, but I hadn't had to clean the carburetor and it's never got gummed up because I run it at least once a month. Now, if I didn't do that, I'd put 100% gasoline in it or I'd just run the gas all the way out. But uh, it's got 10% ethanol in there. Later on this afternoon, I cut one of these grasses down, like these grasses, yeah, can you see? Um, and they're all over the yard. So I'm gonna use that uh, bagger to uh, clean them up with. And it, it needs to be run anyway. So that is my experience over 15 years with 10% ethanol. Now maybe I was lucky, but not really, because look, I've owned that loader which is carbureted, I've owned it for six years and I put 10% in it. Everything you see here has had 10% in it. Uh, the four wheeler, man, I've had that even longer and it's carbureted and uh, never had an issue with it. Well, maybe one time, I tell you what, I had one, one time I had to clean the carburetor on that, but it is when I was building this house and it sat there for probably a year and a half. Then I had to clean the carburetor and I wasn't thinking that through and yes, 100% gasoline probably would have solved that, but I knew how to clean the carburetor, so it wasn't a big deal. So anyway, you know, this, everything you see here, and I've had a bunch that I sold. This Jeep mower right here with the bed on it, I've had it probably six or seven years, and um, no issues there. Now, when I bought it, it sat up for two years, and I had to clean the carburetor, so when I first got it, I cleaned the carburetor to get it running because it sat for two years, but now, I haven't had any issues. So that is my reasoning to um, do 10% ethanol or not worry about it. Um, now my boat, I don't have a boat right now. I've always had boats. It's a little different on that, but even on those in the winter time, on a nice day, I'd get them out and start them and run them on the water hose for the exact same reason. Now I would tend to put 
gas in it because all the marinas, that's what they sell. And I didn't have a choice on a lot of it. But then the other thing is, it is around a lot of water and it does sit a lot longer than these mowers. So, and I guess the other thing that I didn't mention is based on today's prices was at 50 cents a gallon difference. So what is that over 10 gallons that I bought? It was every time I go pretty much buy 10 gallons, fill up both those five gallon gas containers was at $5, I guess. So, you know, I'm saving $5 or I'm not spending $5 every time I go. And I go pretty regular with all these machines. Um, so yeah, it's just worth it to me to clean a carburetor if I need to. And um, like I said earlier, I think it's possible that these engines run a little hotter on that 10% ethanol. But man, I've had that for 15 years and that four wheeler for that long and hadn't had any issues. So I think it's okay. Now, if the ethanol starts going up past that, if the government gets in and says, hey, let's bump it up to 15 or more, then it might change my story on that. But right now, that is my theory. I buy 10% ethanol. It's been okay. You gotta run your machine at least once a month though, or you're gonna have trouble. And if you're not gonna run it once a month, either empty it out or put 100% gasoline in it. So. Um, all right, so comment on this. Subscribe to my channel. This is a mower channel. It's in the middle of the winter, and so there's not a whole lot of mower stuff going on. That's why I'm having this discussion. I want to hear, because I'm not a mechanic, I want to hear from you guys and tell me your thoughts on it and your experience with it, um, because I'm, this would be a learning experience for me. All right, guys, appreciate it. All right, got a little correction. I was thinking... It's, just, it's in the afternoon now, so it's been several hours, but um, on that four-wheeler, I think Blind Guy Garage actually cleaned that carburetor. And he's a buddy of mine, so go check his channel out. Um, Brad's his name, Blind Guy Garage. I think he's got 30% sight, but he's my mechanic on these mowers and stuff. Well, I can't figure it out. I go to him that's pretty often anyway you know, i'm gonna show you a before and after i cut a bunch of pompous grass out here in the backyard so that's a good reason for me to um get the mower out and pick the grass up let's so see it right there grass everywhere see all that that grass is right in there I'm always getting the reason to get these mowers out. So I'm gonna do it. Okay, so I gotta confess, my battery was dead, um, but it started right up since it charged it. it. Took me a couple hours to charge it. It charged right on up, so practice what I preach and run it more often so that battery don't go dead. But anyway, it started, ran it probably 15, 20 minutes, picked up that grass, just let it run back here for a while. And I have no fuel issues. So anyway, that's my story. I'm sticking to it. So anyway, the... Um, so make a comment about your thoughts on this gas i've been using it so the final my final word is on that zero turn i've had it for 15 years always ran uh 10 percent ethanol in it and um hadn't had any trouble you know because i run it regular that's why so i was going to keep it parked for six months <laughs> Anyway, that's it. Talk to you later.